Hey, Brandon here. This is channeled advice on the week ahead. And this is for the week of July 29th through August 4th, Monday, the 29th through Sunday, August 4th. I've got channel messages that I brought through ahead of time from my spirit guides, the angels and source for you. And I'll be working with my intuition and channeling them further regarding any additional information that's for your highest good to come through regarding this or just in addition to it. So let's start. And the first thing that I did, the first thing they'd like me to get to for you, uh, for this week ahead here, uh, I'm getting this energy of just like a lot of jumps coming in. Actually, they're showing me a lot of jumps. So you might be really guided or feel compelled to take a lot of action in a certain area or multiple areas. And I would really trust that and listen to that. It is like a very action y kind of month coming up here in August. That'll be pretty apparent when you watch the, if you watch the channel uh, messages on August, that I'll be uploading or it'll be scheduled for like August 1st or some first or something like that, or maybe the day before that is kind of starting this week is kind of what I'm getting. So you might feel called to action or to like make jumps in certain projects or maybe even jump away from certain things or take action away from things you're guided away from. And all that's well as good as long as you're trusting and listening to your intuition, of course. So be prepared to jump, I suppose, in a good way <laughs> for is one of the things coming through for this week ahead. So they're also showing me just an additional message of like warp speed right now. So there is this message about things speeding up really quickly, especially where things have been stuck. So if you have felt stuck, you're not going to be stuck much longer, which is a really good message uh, for sure. So number one here, the first thing they brought through ahead of time, they showed me a praying mantis and the message was the right time to strike. So right in line with what we were just talking about, now is the right time to strike on projects or things you've been putting off, especially past projects you started then gave up on or were guided away from temporarily, but they've been showing up again to be worked on, or maybe they've been popping into your head a lot. Or you've been like, oh, I wonder if I should work on that. So if you've been getting the urge to work on certain projects, please do. Rewards are on the other side. Now is the time to take action. So like they brought through earlier, now is the a great time to take action on certain things. And if certain projects keep popping into your head to be worked on, I would really trust that and maybe try giving it some work and see if it flows and, and moves forward right now. And again, I'd, they would like to reiterate, now's a good time to go back and work on projects like you started, but didn't really complete, but you still want to do, but life got in the way or other things took precedent and... You might have some time to do those things in August, though that could start this week. So the second thing that came through ahead of time, they showed like the concept of breathing. However, they really highlighted like ex contraction and expansion. That's another line they gave me. However, the message is you are in an expansion phase. Everybody here. So certain things are expanding for you. Pay attention to your calls to new horizons, you know, especially if you're called to a new horizon and pay attention to expanding your horizons. Doing so will pay off. So however that presents itself, some of the examples they gave were new hobbies, new work, new books that you haven't read before, or new genres you haven't read before, new types of pastimes, new authors that you haven't read before. Uh, you know, and it might not seem like it will pay off, but it will. So even if it's like woodworking and it's a new hobby and you're like, I don't see how this is going to pay off besides me enjoying it. Well, that is kind of a payoff and that can change your energies. And there's a lot more we could talk about with this. However, that could change your energies in life. If you're giving to yourself with a pastime, you enjoy. And that could invite some other great things for the highest good into your world. If you're more in joy, more of the time, you know, or more in peace, more of the time, or just really pursuing your interests, you know, even regarding what other people would, or sorry, despite what other people might think or judge, like none of that matters. What matters more is you enjoying your life in a way that's for the highest good and aligned, of course, you know, that's really going to pay off. So even if it is more directly like a work thing or a business thing, and it's like definitely going to have a payoff, you know, that that's fine too. Just know that things are expanding. And if you're called to new horizons, I definitely heed that call. So number three here, they showed me air. They just said, make sure you are taking space for you. So you might need an hour a day or whatever you need you know, you're each going to be different and that's okay. Honor your needs and value yourself and give to yourself and you will pay yourself back immensely or it will pay itself off immensely. You are worth taking space for you and giving yourself what you need. Honor yourself, honor yourself and the universe will honor you too. So 
pretty simple. Just make sure you have space for you in your schedule, in your family life, even regarding friendships. If you need a day, can you find a way to take a day for yourself or give yourself what you need? Because you matter and you, your life needs you in it. And if you're not giving yourself enough space or whatever you need in order for you to be able to give to your life, if you will, like, how is that sustainable? How is anything going to last? And your life is about you to a certain degree. It's not necessarily about everyone else 24 seven, because that's really imbalanced. There has to be enough of you putting yourself first that you can show up for other people and be in a place to do that well, and not hate your life. And being in an energy of like hating your life is probably more detrimental than you realize long-term, even for like potentially the world around you and the people you're around. And that's not to put pressure on you or make you feel bad. If you're kind of in that space, it's more like it's a great thing to be aware of so that you can change it and do what it takes to change it. Um, and if you don't feel like you can change it, no matter what, like that's probably a lie. Like there's probably something you can do to start the chain reaction and series of choices that will bring your life into something you enjoy. And maybe it's going to take changing your perspective. So you'll allow yourself to do some of the things you need to do that are for the highest good and aligned, of course, to make those changes. Uh, and of course, not all of you are in a place where you hate your life. <laughs> However, for anyone who who is like, um, it's a lie that you have to stay stuck where you are is what I'll say. And what I'm getting to say right now uh, there. So just make sure you're giving your, to yourself, honoring yourself, giving you a space for yourself, and that's going to pay back dividends and you'll be in a better place to show up for others if that's your role. So number four here, they show me a gorilla and the, this gorilla, the message was setting down excess weights. And this gorilla in my intuitive or channel visuals was like weightlifting and he was setting down this like, um, this barbell, if you will, you know, with the weight on it and stuff like that in the gym. So the message is it's time to put down extra weight you've been carrying. If you're doing unnecessary tasks and they keep weighing on you, it's time to let them go. If you've been doing too much for others and it hasn't been paying off or coming back around to you, and there's a caveat on this, it's time to let that go. And this is especially if that is pinging for you, if it has to do with like a business or something you should be paid for. Like if you're staying long hours at work and no one's paying for it. It's kind of like, mm, is that really serving you? Is it really giving you what you need in return for your time and energy? You know, so it's okay to do things as charity or like volunteer work. Here's the caveat. You know, it's totally okay to do that and to gift and to give without expectation of receiving. I think, I mean, that's great. You know, uh, at the same time, we can't just be all give, 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 and never receive. And we're in this huge deficit and nothing's really serving us. Like that's really unhealthy. That's not balanced again. So, you know, if, if you find yourself though, like doing things for others and it's just draining you and you're resentful and you're not having enough for yourself, like it, you know, it's not doing anything for you at all. It's just, completely taking, you know, over and over and over again. Like it's really time to look at better uses of your time and energy and something that's a bit more win-win and something that fills you up as well in some way, shape or form. Maybe not with, again, like it's okay to give, it's okay to give things, it's okay to volunteer and do things like that. Like this video is free. <laughs> I'm doing, you know, this video is free. Uh, at the same time, this, I would like to remind you again, it's a very strong message, this one regarding like business, or if you are like a he someone who's doing healing work or something like that, that as well. And just make sure it's serving you to otherwise is kind of like, what are you doing? And like, even with like volunteer work, usually it does fill that person up in some way, shape or form, or I hesitate to put it this way. Cause I, I do think there's something to be said for like gifting without expectation of receiving though. Usually when people do volunteer work, there is some like kick or a lot of kickback from the universe giving back to you or other things circling back to you in some way, shape or form. So I guess like another way, I, I'm going to ask them for an example that's going to like get this to sit right for you guys. You probably already get it listening to you like 75% of you. Mm, so What's a good example here? Mm. 
I mean, let's say you're doing something to like promote your business as an example, or maybe you have a book, you're trying to promote your book. And if you're doing, like if you're doing all these things where you're going out to all these conventions and talking to all, all these people, and maybe you're talking about the topic of your book and it's like, it's not really re getting sales on your book. It's not really like giving back to you in any shape, way, shape or form. It's just kind of draining and taking from you. Like it's time to look at a more mutually beneficial exchange, if that makes sense. I don't think that was the best example, but um, I'm kind of getting you get it. So I'm just going to let you, if they would like to circle back to it, we can do that. Let's go to number five here. Um, actually, before we do that, let's see here. I guess like the way I'll simplify it is don't overgive. That's the thing they're saying here. So number five here, they showed me a snake and the word poison. They just said, take stock of the people around you and ask, are these really the people I want to be around? Ask if they are people you'd really like influencing you. This can go for people who watch you people who you watch on social media as well. So it's time to see all the things that have been like biting you and set them free from you so you can thrive. You don't need negative influences right now is the message that came through here. So is there potentially something like a, a podcast or podcaster or YouTuber or something on TV you listen to and you always feel worse afterwards and your life seems to get worse afterwards in some way, shape or form, or the influence doesn't seem to be helping you, or do you have a friend you hang out with and like your life just kind of seems to tank afterwards in some way, or it kind of demotivates you or it keeps you from going after the things you'd like to go after in life, you know, like your dreams or something like that. Like, it's time to kind of look at those things and be like, do we need to set boundaries there? Do we need to spend less, spend less time with people? Do we need to take a break from certain people? And you know, if it is for the highest good, you can always circle back to those things later. But I'm getting you're being asked to take a break from some things that have kind of been biting you in the ankle. And maybe you haven't realized it because you're just so used to it always being around. So just really sit with it, take stock. Uh, you can ask like, would it be lighter for me to keep this around or would it bring me down or be heavier? And just check with your intuition on it and trust what you feel energetically when you'd be like, Oh, what would my life be like with, if I keep this person around in this way, what would my life be like if I don't? And I kind of set this person free from me and whatever is lighter might be a better direction to go. If you know how to do that kind of work, if you're newer than maybe <laughs> work with your intuition, however, you know, to that's going to work for you. Don't force this. Uh, however, I would at least take stock of the people around you. So number six here, they showed me like a freighter, like a cruise ship. There was like the ocean, huge ocean waves, a sunfish, a tuna. They showed me like a golden ocean. And the message is quite simply, your ships are on the way. Yay. So there is a delivery on the way from the universe you've been waiting for. And it's finally here. Rejoice and give thanks and your blessings will be multiplied as they say. And you deserve great things, receive. So that was number six. I guess there's not much you need to do except uh, be appreciative and receive, <laughs> which is cool. And there was this like extra number seven one. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's the title they gave me for this bonus one is lightning blade, but they like, they like showed me a, a visual that was almost like from an anime or something or like a, a, a show. And like, you know how they like, a lot of the times the characters will like scream their special moves while they're doing them. They're like lightning blade or something like that. They did something like that in my intuitive visuals, which is funny to me. Um, like an angel holding a lightning blade and like shouting that. Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to tell you that, but anyways, here's what came through. What can you do that no one else can do? What are the things you're great at that you devalue because they're easy for you? Maybe those are hint hints as far as good directions for you to go in as far as things you're doing with your time or your life or business ideas or anything like that. Ask yourself those questions every day and see what percolates for you. It's time for you to see your unique value and go that direction. And also another caveat of please don't be a copycat, which has kind of been coming through the past couple of weeks. So it might just be something to kind of look at for in like yourself and your life. Like, okay, is this something I'm authentically guided to do? Or am I just copying this person? Cause this thing over here looks really cool, which I, I get, I understand. And at the same time, your intuition is going to show you the way and you have things you're here to do and bring to the world, which might not be exactly the same as other people. And you know, sometimes things are similar. It's like, you know, if you're pulling cards and someone else is pulling cards, it's it's like, what are you going to do? Like you're sitting on the ceiling upside down pulling cards instead. Like <laughs> You kind of have to trust that you have your own unique way of doing it that you can cultivate and bring to that area where maybe multiple people are doing something that seems similar. 
that's a little bit different than what I'm talking about. You know, just, I think this is more about blatantly copying. So again, I would sit with like, what can you do that no one else can do? What are the, what are you great at that maybe you, you don't think is valuable because you're great at it and it's easy for you, but it actually is really valuable to other people. Oh, I've got an alarm going off. So confirmation from the universe on that one. Thanks alarm. <laughs> and let me see. There's one more thing I was going to say about that. Yeah. I originally heard that thing. Like, what are you great at that you don't value because like, it's so easy for you. I heard that from like access consciousness originally, but my spirit guides had me bring it in. And I like to try to give credit where credit's due with, um, things that, you know, they're kind of pulling from and having me like refer to other things for these things to help you guys are kind of pulling in other resources to get you to consider or to help you guys out. So that's it. I hope this helped resonated to whatever was for eyes. Good. I hope you have a good week and all that. And yeah, I'll see you on another video.